I was just taking a walk around all these planets and stars. They're all around me. And they're all around spheres, you know. These are models of planets and stars. Real planets and stars are millions of miles away. But with this telescope, you can see some of them. The sky is very dark at night, but dotted within the darkness. Those bright lights twinkling are the stars. Stars shine because they're huge balls of burning gas. And one special star gives us warmth and light during the day. The star we can see in the daytime is the sun. So I suppose we could call the sun Earth's daytime star. Without it, the Earth would be dark all the time, as it is at night. The planet where we live, the Earth, orbits the Sun. It takes a year to go all the way around. Let me tell you what I know, how long it takes the Earth to go around the Sun. That's Earth's bright star. It takes a year to go around so far. And as Earth travels around the Sun, the seasons change one by one. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. They're the seasons, they never alter. And when Earth's back where it was before, Earth doesn't stop, it goes round once more. Round and round, round the sun. Round and round, moving on. Round and round, round the sun. Round and round, moving on. As it orbits around the sun, the Earth itself also spins gently. It takes 24 hours to make one complete turn. So as the Earth goes on its way, it spins around making night and day. And how on Earth is this all done? Well, it's day when we turn to the sun. But as we spin out of sun's light, it gets much darker than it's night. And when we're back where we were before, Earth doesn't stop, it goes round once more. Round and round, Earth's on its way. Spinning round, making night and day. Round and round, Earth's on its way. Spinning round, making night and day. So when our part of the Earth is facing the sun, it gives us light, and it's daytime. But when we're turned away from the sun, its light can't reach us, so it's dark, and it's night. But what's this? Not a star, not a planet, but a moon. The moon which orbits our planet, the Earth, takes one month to go all the way around. And in the sky there's lots of room for all those stars and yes, our moon. The moon, I guess you know this, right? Shows itself to us at night. And here's another fact I found. It takes one month to go around, around the Earth, that's what I mean. And when it's night, it might be seen. But listen here, when one month's done, the moon won't stop but carries on. Round and round, round the Earth. 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 Now let's recall the facts we found, how everything goes round and round. The Earth goes round the sun we know and gives us light as we go. Then there's the moon we see at night, goes round the Earth, what a sight. So in the sky there's lots to see, this moving round amazes me.
there you go. That's the planet Earth. And it's one of nine planets which go all the way around the sun. They're a part of our solar system, or sun system. The system that we know as solar keeps the planets ticking over. All of them go around the sun. Why don't we name them one by one? The nearest to the sun, let's see, is a planet that's called Mercury. Then there's the one that's next to us. It's the one we call Venus. Now comes Earth, but wait, there's more. Here is Mars, and that makes four. Next, Jupiter with its great red spot, the biggest planet of the lot. Another planet we must learn, the one with the rings, yes, Saturn. And if you think that that's enough, now comes a planet called Uranus. And let me see, I'll finish soon. Here's the one we call Neptune. And finally, there's one to go, the last one, Pluto. That's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And they all go round the sun. going round and round makes me feel quite dizzy. But you don't really notice the Earth turning, do you? It's very slow and gentle. Earth is a pretty amazing planet. For a start, it's the only one in our solar system which has life as we know it. Seen from space, our planet Earth looks quite blue, doesn't it? That's because more than half the Earth's surface is covered in water. There's water in rivers, in lakes, in streams, and of course, in the sea. All living things need water. Plants and trees need water to live. And in turn, other living creatures depend on plants, because the plants make oxygen, which is part of the air we breathe. Green plants make their own food from air and water and sunlight, which people need too. We need the sun to give us warmth and light. And the sun's also the oldest way of telling the time. Let's see how it's done. Hi, Joanna. What's this pole doing here? Making a sundial? What's a sundial? Somehow to tell the time. You've got to have a pole or something. And um, you've got to draw where the shadow is at different times of the day. So, Joanna, what happens to the shadows throughout the day? They get bigger and then they get smaller and then they get bigger again and they move around in a circle. Why does that happen? Because it's the sun. Really? What's happening to the sun? That's where it is, but we move, although we can't feel it. Then what did you do? We went inside and made a chart. What's this? That's our school. And what's that? That's the sun. OK, so where's the sun first thing in the morning? Oh, um, nine o'clock. And what happens as the day goes on? Um, we move, and then it seems like the sun's moving, and at 12 o'clock it's up there. Right. And then at um, 3 o'clock it's up there, and at 6 o'clock it's down there. Right, so it seems as if the sun's moving. Yeah. But what's really happening? We're moving, but so we can't feel it. We can't feel it. Every day the same thing happens. The sun rises and the sun sets. Many of us do the same things every day too. Watch this. My name is Ruhana. Every morning I wake up about half past seven. Come on, quick, hurry up. I have breakfast with my brothers. 
Zafa, Suleiman, and Omar, and my mum, and dad. I walk to school with Zafa, Suleiman, and our next door neighbour, Aisha. School starts at nine o'clock. I like reading. And I like writing too. My favourite thing is playing the recorder. Lovely, good. We have lunch at one o'clock. In the afternoon, we do some more work. At half past three, it's time to go home. When I get home, I have tea. Look, same colour as your orange juice. Oh, I got three cocoa. I got three. You want a cocoa pie later? Every day, I have lessons to learn how to read the Quran, which is our holy book. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanir Rahim I change my clothes so my head and my legs are covered Iyaka nastayin Allahu Akbar I am a Muslim Muslims pray five times every day the times we pray change each day, depending on sunrise and sunset. I go to bed about half past eight, and that's the end of my day. Do you do some of the things I do every day? Good night. Now that the sun sets, I don't need to look at my clock to tell me what time it is. It's very dark outside. It's quiet. I'm also very, very tired. I'm going to dream of all those stars and planets. Wake me up in a bit. Bye. Venus is nice and very beautiful and the colours are smoky brown and white. Mercury is red, it's hot and it's burning. Mars is hot, it's red and horrible. Uranus is a rainbow, I love Uranus. Pluto is made of rocks and it's beautiful. Earth is life. 